May 16th. Okay, so we have the moon in Virgo energy all day. That means that we are thinking a lot about what needs to be done. We're focused on the smaller details that are going to make up the greater, grander whole. We want to be logical. We want to be practical. We want to be very thorough in our thoughts and our ideas and our plans and our strategies. And of course, we want to handle logical, practical matters right in front of us. Again, reminder, the moon in Virgo needs us to focus on the problems, on the issues issues in order for us to fix them, heal them, and resolve them. So we want to be productive. We're definitely more focused on our physical realm, our physical environment than anything else. Of course, Mercury does rule over the Virgo energy, so there's a lot going on in the mental plane. And of course, Mercury just shifted into Taurus energy, so there's a little bit of a tunnel vision goggle situation going on. We may just find ourselves obsessed, if you will, with a certain thought, certain topic, certain themes, certain ideas, certain looping narrative. So we have to be very cautiously aware that what it is that we are focused on is of the most positive mindset. Why? Because Virgo energy is mind and matter. What is going on in our mental plane is what we are going to manifest and bring into the physical form. There are seven different aspects taking place here today. Six of them are going to involve the moon. The moon in Virgo is going to make a very positive interaction with Mars, the god of war ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desire, even our anger. Mars is in his rulership and Aries energy. We're rearing to go. We're building up this mood, this attitude where we are ready to actually initiate on something. We're actually able to take a step forward. Now, this particular interaction is great because it's almost like we are focused on the baby steps that we do have available to us right now that, of course, may not seem great and grand in the great big scheme of things, but it's absolutely necessary in order for us to actually initiate this new chapter, this new path, this new plan, this new strategy. So we are definitely in a logical, practical mind space on really analyzing our options and opportunities to take action, to make moves, to actually see a little bit of progress in a new path, in a new direction. The moon does interact with Chiron, the wounded healer, in a very awkward kind of way. Not good, not bad, just kind of observing where this new version of self is actually coming out to play. Again, we've been going through a, let's call it, identity crisis slash rebranding. This new version of self getting more and more familiar and comfortable with each passing day. Emotionally speaking, we're seeing the ability within us now to tackle issues head on. We're willing to grow. We're willing to to heal we're willing to fix the problematic areas because again the stagnancy of this present moment is getting to us and we because we are kind of bored and discontent we're willing to kind of make some changes within us starting with the way that we see things the way that we perceive things secondly with the way that we're feeling towards said things in order for our heart and our head to get in alignment so that we can start moving forward the moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Pluto. This is great. We didn't have such a great interaction between these two here yesterday that kind of put us in a little bit of a dark funk, if you will, a little bit of suspicion, a little bit of paranoia. I love when Virgo energy and Pluto energy work well together because it means that we are basically moving into our psyche. We're examining our inner narrative. We're understanding where it is that we're self-sabotaging, where it is that we are essentially blocking ourselves from making some great progress. So emotionally speaking, the Virgo energy is here to dissect things. Pluto, the great transformer being retrograde and Aquarius energy is taking a good look within ourselves where it is that there is a power struggle between old and new, between ego self and higher self, between the old narratives and the new narratives. And of course, we just want to improve. We want to do better. So as that Aquarius energy is kind of painting the big picture, the big change, the big transformation that we want to be making, that we want to see ourselves in, the moon in Virgo is focused on the smaller details of our mental plane, our inner narrative, of our emotions, of our experience that exactly will paint that big broad picture due to the smaller pieces that we're focused on and that we are trying to connect the dots within. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with the north node in Aries energy. This is growth. 
This is healing. This is us making some progress. This is us taking a baby step. This is us seeing the options, the opportunities from a different set of eyes, from a different, let's call it perspective, from our emotional state. Up until this point, we've been seeing options and opportunities, but our emotions have been holding us back. We haven't felt well-equipped or well-prepared to move forward, to make any kind of change, to make any kind of adjustment. This is us getting on the same page this is us seeing things from a different set of eyes, therefore emoting a different emotion according to the new options and opportunities that we're now starting to see very clearly. Of course, just when things are going great, just when we're having a little bit of optimism and confidence and we're seeing the growth and we're seeing the opportunities, of course, we have to have a not so nice interaction, kind of knock the wind out of our sails. The moon is going to make a very tough interaction with Mars. So we started off the day with a positive interaction. Now it's not so nice. This particular interaction is going to bring out the frustrations, going to bring out the agitations, going to bring out the rage. If I do say so myself, we got ants in our pants. They are growing more and more restless with each passing day. The energy here is because I'm going to say the tension and the conflict is here because Mars and Aries energy just wants to move forward. We just want to make moves. We just want to take action. We just want to initiate something new. However, the moon in Virgo needs a plan needs the finer details of that plan thought through so thoroughly, so carefully that we're really putting ourselves in a situation where there are not going to be very many surprises. But of course, the moon and Virgo pumping the brakes and Mars and Aries energy over here just stepping on the gas. So there is going to be a little bit of smoke. That smoke is going to create a little bit of confusion. It is going to block our ability to see the path moving forward that much more clearly. We're going to have to wait until the agitation, the frustration kind of passes in order to reframe what the energy of our frustration is trying to tell us. And side note, it's time to start moving forward. We're gaining frustration because we think we should be further ahead in the path, in the plan, in the strategy than we actually are. The minute that you set yourself up for an expectation is the exact moment that you set yourself up for disappointment. The whole point right now is to accept this present moment. Just be in this particular circumstance, understanding that we are actively working towards something just because you don't see the physical progress doesn't mean that we're not making mental and emotional progress. Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money. She's in her rulership in this Taurus energy. She's going to be making a positive interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer, in this Aries energy. This is a beautiful interaction because it means that the change of heart that we've had, the change in worth, the change in values, the change in understanding, the energy exchange in our personal relationship dynamics, we are having this now manifest in this new version of self. We're boosting our confidence, we're boosting our optimism, we're boosting our value, our self-worth, our self-love. And because of this, the new version of self, again, the wounded healer, we're not in a wounded situation, we're in a healing situation. We're starting to see the changes that we need to make first in our heart space, second in our head space, third in our physical realm in order for us to create a realm and a reality that not only looks good, but that feels good. We are focused on what we have to build, what we have to create, what we have to bring to life in order to have more happiness, more joy, more pleasure, more safety, more security, more stability. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon and Virgo energy making a very tough interaction with that north node in Aries energy. So again, we had a positive interaction earlier in the day. This one isn't quite as great. This is going to put us in a situation where we're not feeling like we are growing. We're not feeling like we're healing. We're not feeling like we're fixing anything, like we're being productive in any kind of way. Again, the expectations that the moon in Virgo kind of has for us and that we put on ourselves, we can't live up to. We have to consider the fact that the Virgo energy is the perfectionist of the zodiac. And here's the thing, nothing is ever perfect. The only thing that is perfect is the imperfections that make us us. So because we're overwhelmed with the, I'm going to say, pressure that we're putting on ourselves, because we're struggling to see 
the actual plan and strategy, the details of it be ironed out, we are not so confident, not so optimistic about thinking about the plan moving forward. So earlier in the day, we were seeing the growth, we were seeing the healing, we were seeing the ability to actually make progress in our physical realms moving forward. Right now, we realize that we don't have as many options and opportunities in the physical realm available to us at this point because the growth, the healing, the repairment that is needed is in our head space and in our heart space because of course our head and our heart have to be in an alignment before we can engage the physical body and really kind of make any kind of physical progress in the physical realm. So this is about us kind of saying, well, let's pump the brakes here. Let's take a good look inward and see what it is that we're getting hooked up upon. Is it a negative narrative? Is it a limiting belief? Is it an old emotion? Is it fear, doubts, and insecurities? What is the issue? The moon and Virgo needs us to identify the problem in order for us to fix it.